Okay, so um, if you can't tell, right now I'm really feeling this pattern. This is the um, one that I've been using for my Renaissance projects right now. You can't even see the picture. I'm doing great at this. Anyways, but if you've seen my last two videos, you've seen this pattern. Um, and I needed to make a white dress for... Um, family pictures that um, my husband's grandma wanted us to wear like white and jeans or something. So I don't have jeans and I don't want to go jean shopping so I figured I would just make a white dress. So this is going to be like a renaissance inspired white summer dress. And I thought I would do something really fun with the sleeves to wear. Um, they're like short poofs. Um, so, um, yeah, short puff sleeves, and then they will be attached at the bottom here because I feel like it's not that attractive if you lift your arm and you see that space. So it'll be, like, sewn here, and then I think I'm going to leave a gap, like, um, sort of nodding towards tie-on Renaissance sleeves. Um, so, like, I would have it sewn here, and then I would leave, like, a gap um where it's not sewn so it kind of is open a little bit and then it's sewn at the top and then like there's like another little gap um so i thought it'd be an interesting like design choice to try out this is actually inside out right now i used um french seams on the sleeves and to actually construct the top i made um the outside and then the lining fabric out of the same white. Um, but I put the two layers right sides together, sewed around all of the edges, um, and then I turned it right side out and then I top stitch just so that the line would be more clean looking around the edges. I don't know if I wanna try to find a white trim um, to go along the neckline. I think it would be cute. And then maybe do some white beading um, sort of the same way that I made my last renaissance dress, but this is like going to be like a, a simple um, summer dress that's kind of renaissance themed because I'm like super into the renaissance thing right now, <laughs> if you can't tell. Anyways, I'm going to get started on this. I think what I want to do next for the bodice is to just turn the bottom edge inwards. And then um, I'll stitch that down so that the inside will be all clean. And then I'll start working on the skirt. Okay, we have a problem. So I don't know if you can tell, but this bodice is two layers thick and you can still see Tom Duck's head of my t-shirt through the fabric. So I might need to make an under layer as well. Um, the bodice fits really nicely. I love this pattern. It's probably my favorite pattern at the moment. But like, you can see Tom Nook through it. See that? Do you see Tom Nook's face? Yeah, you can see through this. I just want to say that wearing white is one of the 
worst colors to force someone to wear because I don't wear white. Uh, partly because I'm messy and I drop things on me. I spill driblets of coffee on myself. I, food falls down. Like, white is not a good idea, but here we are. I'm going to have to figure out finishing a white dress and then making it not see-through. So that's fun. Even with two layers of cotton, it's still see-through. All right, so I now have three skirt panels cut out. This is the longer one and then these two are not as wide and they will go on each side of this larger panel. <laughs> So my bodice is done, the bottom is all complete, and I did like a running stitch on my sewing machine um, for the skirt, so I need to pull on the thread so that I can gather it up to fit the underbust area of the bodice, and then I'll sew that together. Please ignore my messy bed, but I finished the white dress, and I'm like, it's just so plain and white. I, um, if you remember the Bridgerton dress I made, I have leftover, like, embroidered fancy fabric left from it, so I just cut out, like, a test strip to see if I could just put it anywhere on here that would make sense. And like, I kind of like it at the bottom hem and it makes the dress not be just so plain and white. It's very cute, but I typically don't just wear plain white. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think that's really cute, 
I'm gonna pin it on and then when my husband gets home from work I'm gonna ask what he thinks because I think a pop of color I mean it's I know that for the family pictures they wanted us to wear white, but I think they'll mostly show like the top, right? The bottom, just like a pop of color. I think it'll be fine, maybe. Okay, so I was going to have this dress finished today and then work on the video editing, but I decided that flowers on the bottom of the skirt just wasn't enough so I want to do like some more like individual flowers that all like cut out of this fabric and I'm gonna add more flowers today <laughs> so my video will just be a little bit delayed Thank you. 